Welcome to this video. This is the plan for me in 2021. So looking ahead past uh, doing the build on the Fisher Tail kit I have no real plan because the outcome from that uh, will probably decide on which way I'm going to go towards uh, building one of the single seat deregulated whether it's going to be my own design the Sparsec SD1 or the Fisher Youngster they're the three choices which I really think are suitable for me I've uh, looked around and there aren't many other choices which suit my size uh, you know, and fit within the SSDR uh, road uh, within the UK. So I've had a few questions uh, from people who know me uh, going, well, you know, what, what made you make a decision about doing an SSDR aircraft and why? Well, SSDR for me is the way to go. It's less regulated, so I have less uh, requirement for inspections during the build. It gives me the freedom to change the design slightly. So using my design training from the past to be able to work out what way I want to build things and just put my own slight slant on it. Uh, it's cheaper for me on the insurance side. Uh, my wife doesn't like flying, so it's not like I can, I'm actually sharing flying with anybody. It keeps the aircraft compact and something I can build within my relatively small workshop area that I've got here. So those are some of the, the, the things about uh, you know, why the SSDR and um, why those uh, particular aircraft. Well, the Fisher has a cruise speed of between 80 and 90 miles an hour. Uh, the Sparsec SD1 is slightly faster than that, but both of those are faster than my Sherwood Cub, so it allows me to fly along with other micro lights going to places it's just i want to build an aircraft uh, myself you know from the minimalistic amount of kit as possible uh, and that's why i'm actually looking at building my own the uh, sherwood cub is a great aircraft it flies fantastic very forgiving and it does pretty much most of the things i want to do it's a little bit slower but it allows me to land out on rough fields uh, it cruises and can go places it's easy to maintain it's got most of the, the bits there but it just isn't an aircraft I've built I'd say 90% of where the others would be kits where apart from the engine uh, I would have built or put together pretty much every component within it so that's what I like to do as an engineer thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up you can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos any comments would be appreciated and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can remember go fly and feel the sky